modern aircraft has a complex independent electric system that meets its requirements. On the ground, a ground car supplies required electrical output, but during independent operations, it would take an onboard self-contained system that can generate, route, store, and sustain constant power in the air and on the ground. Modern aircraft electric systems do not largely differ from one another. The difference, however, is between being more or less automated, like that from a larger aircraft compared to a smaller one. Let us look at the basic schematics of a typical automated system. First off, it must generate electricity. That is where the generators and alternators play. For perpetuity of power, generators must be connected to primary engines. The main engines, the auxiliary power unit, which is a small jet engine in the tail of the aircraft or the ram air turbine, an emergency electrical and hydraulic backup located in the belly fairing down to the batteries, all form part of the aircraft electrical system for a typical large aircraft, in exactly that order from top down in case of failure of each. Turbofan engine generators provide electricity through the AC bus. In order to ensure constant output, generators on a complex jet aircraft are connected to the integrated drive generators on each engine. A transformer rectifier in the system will convert so produced AC to DC and route it to where it is needed through the DC bus. The entire system is backed up, however, power sourced from the backup systems progressively degrade like from the ram air turbine or the batteries, and will route to essential systems critical to safe flight, only after going through either of the rectifier or inverter stage. Either of the auxiliary power unit, or the two engines can supply the entire aircraft. In event it comes to the battery stage for the final backup after every other source of generation has gone belly up, since they produce direct current, an inverter will convert the direct current coming from the batteries allowing systems to power up on alternating current. Battery is the last source of electric power on the aircraft, so ensuring that they have enough juice before engine start is a normal checklist item also to monitor that enough charge is being maintained on the battery during flight. In a typical automated system, batteries on both sides will charge through the DC bus when main engines are running. The smaller airplane would either have a generator or an alternator. Both provide DC power. For example, on a Cessna 172, electric power is routed through a DC bus that aids engine starts lights, movement of flaps, instruments, nav aids, and radios. On engine start, battery becomes part of the electrical load while being charged by the generation system. On it too, battery is the last chance power backup. On the larger, more complex aircraft electrical system, power is supplied to flight management computers, displays, lights, flight instruments, radar, and other avionics. In addition, you would have the navigation, communication, fuel, and hydraulic pumps, and so on, breathing on electricity produced by the engine generators. These systems are protected by various types of circuit breakers from inadvertent surge in electric load. Failures are indicated in the cockpit as a caution or warning to which pilots take appropriate action per the aircraft SOP. From the cockpit, a whole panel would be given for managing aircraft electrical system. Indications would appear on corresponding displays. Modern planes have a separate electric panel for managing emergency systems. From displays, you could monitor battery and rectifier status, APU, generators, external systems, and emergency management, etc. Each plane comes with its own distinct system, but at least all of them work in the basic fashion, and unless of course contemporary systems give more weight to solar alternates, more or less we'll be living with the ground level schematics for a while. Have fun!